In this lesson, we will learn how to set up parameters and run a parametric sweep in ANSYS Discovery. Our goal is to identify the optimal mass flow inlet rate to ensure consistent airflow on the rear top and bottom vents. To set up any flow inlet or outlet as a parameter, we can just go to our physics tree. The moment I hover my mouse on any of the inlets, it is going to show me a parameter icon next to the value field. I can simply click on this icon to create a parameter of the boundary condition. Let's do the same for the other inlets too. After creating the parameters, I can go to my parameters window by clicking this parameter icon next to the SID. Let's define a range for all these three inlet boundary conditions. Here, my start value would be 0.01 .01 kilogram per second for all the three flow inlets and the end value would be 0.02 .02 kilogram per second. The number for each of them is going to be 3. In total, we are going to get 27 design variations. Now, if we click on the drop down menu icon next to the update icon, it is going to give us an option to run locally or on the cloud. If you are running too many design variations, you can use the ANSYS cloud service to run in parallel. Please note that this requires ANSYS credits for cloud usage. Here I am going to use local option and press on update all to run all the design variations. You can also star mark any of these design variations and select update start or you can simply select using the checkbox and then say update selected. While the simulations are running, let me tell you about some other options that we have here. In the design variation window, you can see we also have all the monitors that we created and the default ones too. You can hide any of these columns from the show or hide column option and then select what you want to see and what you don't. Then from the export icon, you can export this chart data to a CSV file for further data analysis. Let the update complete for all the design variations and we'll meet here shortly. So it seems like all the design variations that are marked green are completed. We can see that for design variation 3 or DV3, we are getting much more closer values for mass flow for the lower front and lower back. Let's stick to DV3 and set it as current. To validate our results, we will use DV3 as our current in the discovery refine mode. In the next lesson, we will learn how to run a high fidelity simulation in the refine mode using the live GX solver and poly meshing. We will also discuss some different options that are specific to the refine mode. See you all in the next lesson.